Welcome back to Inkscape and um, today we're going to take a look at making one of those uh, aperture cards which has someone's name running through the middle of the aperture. Um, so I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle for my card. Now my card is going to be 6 by 4 when it's folded so my rectangle needs to be um, 8 inches wide obviously will fold in half into four and six inches high so I'm just putting the sizes there into the width and height boxes so there is our card and I'm going to convert that to a path now by choosing path and object to path remember I'm sure cuts a lot can't cut out any of these rectangles or circles or any of these shapes you have to convert them to paths for it to work and now I'm going to make an oval for my aperture so just judging roughly by the size of the card that's about what I'm going to do again I'll convert that to a path so path object to path and there it is and now I need to get this um, oval positioned correctly in my card um, it's a bit difficult to judge where to put it because I've got no line for the fold here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the rulers. You can have rulers along the top and down the side of your document to help you with positioning things. So if I go view, show and hide, and then select rulers, I now have my inch rulers down each side of my document. Now I know my file is 12 by 12 because that's how I have it set up to always be. So if I go to the left hand ruler and then drag with my mouse, I can bring along a guideline and I'm going to position that at the 6 inch mark so I know that's dead in the middle of my page so now if I select my card and bring up the align menu with control shift and letter A I can tell it to align relative to the page and then if I click the button to center it that card I know is now um, in the middle of the page and consequently this line here, the guideline um, notice it's changing colour when I roll over by the way because I can move it at any point and um, that's now marking the full line of my card and I can just use that to help me position my oval in the right place it's a little large actually so I'm just going to uh, reduce it in size slightly and position that, I'm just doing this by eye, it's fairly easy with the guideline there to help me so that's where I'm going to put my um, aperture so now I hold down the shift key and select the card as well so I have them both selected now and I do path difference and now that aperture is part of the card if I uh, color the card you can see it has a window there where the aperture is okay so now to do um, the name I can get rid of this guideline now because I'm finished with it so just drag it back to the ruler and it will vanish so I'll move this out of the way and select my text tool to type the name and I'm going to use the name Susan for this example and double click it with the text tool to highlight it all and then go to the T to change the font and so on and I'm going to use one called Script MT uh, and there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing that so I'll say apply and then close and you can see if I zoom in on that like that you can see that the A and the N are joined together the U and the S are joined together and the S is the capital S is separate so I actually need to do something about this gap here between the S and the U and this gap between the S and the A um, and depending on what font you use usually you'll find you need to do something to join the letters together to make one continuous strip across the center of your aperture so the first thing I'm going to do is make a few copies of this because I want to show you two methods of doing this one is faster than the other but the slower method um, actually does give you a better result so you can choose for yourself if you want to do the quick easy method or do the slower one that takes um, a little more time but gives you a better result so let's zoom in on this one so the first thing I need to do is to convert this text into a path so I go path um, object to path and now I need to break it apart into individual letters rather than one big um, section so I go path break apart and you can see I now have selection boxes around each of the separate letters 
unfortunately when you break apart text you always uh, lose the holes in any letters that have holes in them so just click on the letter hold down the shift key and click on the hole and then do path difference and that will combine um, the hole back into the letter again now these two I'm going to merge together with path union and these two I'm going to merge together with path union so now we have the three parts, the S, these two and these two and then I can just click on this and using the arrow keys on my keyboard just move it along until it merges slightly with the S and then do the same for this one until it joins up and then I can just select the whole thing and say path union so that is the first method of joining your name together the second method doesn't involve squashing the letters together like this and I need to zoom in on this section to show you that so let's just go there now and what I'm going to do is go to um, this one and I'm going to um, convert it to a path so path object to path then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Bezier tool which is this one here to draw a line around this section of the U because I'm going to use that to join together these parts here without squashing the letters together so I click on the Bezier tool and then I just click to draw a shape around the part that I want to copy and I finish off in the square where I started so I now have selected, uh, well I haven't selected but I've drawn a shape around that part if I now hold down the shift key and select them both I can say path division and what that's going to do is it's going to cut out that little part so if I just get rid of that and that and that and that there is the part that I've kept so I can copy that now and paste it this needs to be converted to a path so I'm going to go path object to path um, I don't need to break it apart now because I'm not going to be moving anything all I need to do is take these and just bring them in and just position them and stretch them a bit if I need to so they make everything join up nicely there we go not perfect by any means but you get the general idea you can spend more time on it than I have uh, let me just bring that along a little bit more and then if I highlight all of that and say path union there is our completed name so zooming back out to the full page now you can see you have the two different names there whichever one you prefer you can use um, I'll use I'll use this one for now so I need to get it uh, into this aperture so I'm going to just zoom in to there and just shrink this down I'm going to hold down the control key when I move the corner handle that will keep it in proportion so it doesn't get squashed in any direction and basically you want it just to overlap the edges of your aperture I'm going to make that a little bit larger and again you can spend more time than I am uh, messing around with this to get it exactly how you want it but I think that's going to do so all I have to do now is combine together the name with the card so if I hold down the shift key so I select them both and then just go path union and there we are because the names change color to the same as the card I know that's now one piece um, if I turn off these black lines around the edges so we can see it more clearly if I hold down control shift on the keyboard and press the letter F that brings up the fill and stroke panel and I'll make the stroke paint uh, turn off by clicking on the X so now I'll close that and you can see there it's joining up at the edges as we wanted so we're finished thanks for watching and I hope you found that helpful bye bye